All right, here we go. This is the fraction exponent rules, which are the exact same thing as the regular exponent rules. The only difference, there's fractions for exponents. But we have already talked about this, and we will talk about this again because we have no choice. But the thing is, remember, the bottom number represents what? A root. The top number represents a power. And you better believe that we are going to encounter things that have fraction exponents in them. We just have to realize fractions are numbers also. They are numbers, so they will behave like numbers. They do everything that other exponents do. So you don't have to relearn any rules. Look at number uh, 43 x to the two-thirds times x to the one-fifth. Well, what if this said x to the second times x to the first? You would just say it's x to the third. Well, that, it's the same rule. You're going to take these two numbers and do what? You're going to add them. Now, you can get common denominators the old-fashioned way and then add them together and say... Two-thirds plus one-fifth is, you know, what, 13 fifteenths? I don't know. I'm doing that in my head, so I hope I got that right. Um, but the thing is, you could also add those on your calculator. So one more time, I want to make sure that you're thinking about it on your calculator. What mode do you want to be in? Are you going to be in math print or classic mode? Because it's going to affect the way you plug in fractions. Now here's another thing. On all of these problems that you will be working on, I want to look at number 50 because it's right in my face and it's nice and close. This is the power rule. When I multiply powers, remember it's not going to be 4 times 3 halves. It's going to be 4 to the 3 halves. It's not going to be uh, it's going to be x to the 6th times 3 halves. So you can double check me, but if I do that, I get, no, whoop, I get, no, what did that, no, stop it. Stop, oh gosh, hang on. You get x to the ninth. sorry. And then, 8 times 3 halves, that's just 12. I can do that on a calculator too. I can do that. But here's what I wanted to get at. Any of the problems that end up with one of these dudes in it, 4 to the power of 3 halves is 8. You're not going to get any weird, wacky, crazy numbers. It's going to be a whole number if you do it right. So, what is the... Just in case you... You know, let's interpret this. That means square root of 4, that's 2. What do you do with that answer? You cube it, so... That's why I'm saying 8. So the answer here would just be x, 8x to the 9th, y to the 12th. And all I had to do to get that one right is the product rule, but I had a fraction exponent. It's a fraction exponent. So these are really not that difficult as long as you did video 1 before you did video 2 practice. They're just trying to spook you with these fraction numbers. So let's look at like one more, like this guy right here. If I distribute this, it looks super spooky, but this is just multiplying. Negative 5 times negative 3 fifths is 3. Y to the third times that. Oh God, I'm going to get Y to the negative 9 fifths. You can double check me with your count, but that's what I get. And then z to the negative 6. So guess what? That is not the answer you're going to see if you check it. Because they are going to ask you to eliminate any negative exponents. So the answer you're going to see if you check it is going to look like this. Because I know that I can relocate those two values because they have negative exponents on them. Now I've kind of marked up all of this stuff here. I really have. So this is part of your homework. Look, 43 to 55 odd. You're going to do the odd ones here, okay? The answer key is down below, but wait, there's more. 
I want you to try these guys out because these are going to be a little bit more involved. Number 59 might be kind of sneaky. You might go, dang, but give it a try. I am always available to answer questions for you, but I want to see what you guys do with this one because you already did all the exponent rules. Now, once again, what do they like to do in this book that I found? They like to write out every single step. So, like I did number 43 for you guys, what did they do? They said two-thirds and one-fifth. They actually showed getting common denominators and adding them together. They got the same answer I got. I do not care if you use your calculator to do the fractions for you, but I do want you to know this. You better not give me decimals for any of this. It's math frac time. If you end up with a decimal for something, math frac it. Okay. I want to just let you know, here's the rest of the answer key. You can take a picture of it. And uh, there you go. Hey, look, there's that one I did earlier. X to the third over Y to the nine-fifth, Z to the sixth. Don't let the fractions intimidate you. Just remember, fraction exponents. All they mean is top part power, bottom part root. They're just exponents. Treat them like that. Okay, I do expect a couple questions from this one, just because it's a short video. You've already done the other stuff, but um, please take a picture of the answer key. Check it as you go through. If things aren't working right, Please ask for help. I don't, uh, remember, I, I don't mind helping. That's what they pay me for. <laughs> That's what they pay me for, to answer questions. Okay, guys, good luck on that.